Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about how we designed and 3D printed this Applin Pokemon. Applin is a super cute dragon type Pokemon from the recent Pokemon game Sword and Shield. I don't know if I would call it cute, but it does look kind of tasty. Alright, here we go. Let's get to her. I modeled this Pokemon in Fusion 360. The whole model was made using the Forms tool. Forms? Why'd you use Forms? Forms are a really easy way to make organic looking shapes. And since Applin has a pretty simple shape, I think this was the easiest way to do it. Huh, so did you make each color as a separate form? Actually, I modeled the entire Pokemon first, and then I split it into different colors. Oh, okay. So how did you split up the forms? First, I traced a reference photo using the sketch tool. Then, I used these sketches as a cutting plane to cut through the model. Once I'm done, I'll be able to save each color as a separate SDL. Wait a second. What about the black stalks on the back of its tail? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'll just quickly make those using the forms tool again. Huh, not bad. I could really go for some apple pie now. But wait a second. There are six colors in this model, but our printer can only print five. You're right, but I have a trick up my sleeve. Let's load the model in Prusa Slicer and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I've loaded the model, but something looks off. We'll start the print with dark green in channel 5. Dark green is only used at the bottom of the model, so once that part is finished, we don't need that color anymore and I'll swap it for the light red filament. Whoa, why didn't I think of that? Less talking, more printing. Let's start the print. it's done! All this effort has been worth it. Now we can battle. If you'd like to print your own Applin, links to the SDL files are in the description below. Thank you for watching 3D Print Dogs!